Speaking of Madrid and speaking of superstars, Rob, how optimistic do you think they are at Real Madrid that they will be getting Mbappe on a free in the summer of 2022? Well, I think they dream of it, don't they? It's, I was just looking back over the years, and as you were saying before, I think I've covered La Liga for, for the best part of a quarter of a century. And it's normally around this time of year that uh, Real Madrid would be uh, unveiling one of their Galacticos, be it Zidane or Figo. David Beckham came in, in July as well. It was Griezmann at Barcelona in July. This is normally the signing season, the unveiling season. Barca are unveiling the players, but they can't give them a number. Real Madrid haven't had a Galactico for a few years, and Real Madrid have been managing things within. The big signings, the last couple of big signings, they've made rather backfired on them, Hazard and, and Gareth Bale. So they've gone a little bit shy in the transfer market. But Mbappé coming in would really be a statement of intent. Look at the goals that he scored. That's Messi-like. That's Cristiano Ronaldo-like. This is potentially the best player in the world, in the globe, for the next decade. They would love him to be there so much. It would sell shirts. It would... Not that they have to put uh, uh, supporters on seats, but it would announce that they are back at the top of the pinnacle of world football. But uh, it's, it's in the corner of Mbappé. You ask any Liverpool fan, they've they claimed that he's been going to Anfield for the last five years, where I live on Merseyside. But when it comes to, to Real Madrid, that's who they desire. They've got a year to sort their finances out. And Mbappé has got a year to keep a very straight poker face with the owners of Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, yeah, you say a poker face. He had a big smiley face, uh, we could say, not, when he arrived at PSG <laughs> for training. But there we go. Smiles here, as you can see, once he's out on the training in pitch. Jan, as Rob was saying, it is something that you uh, make Real Madrid synonymous with, at least having one of the best players in the world in their ranks. And you know that's going to be something that's important for Florentino Perez. What do you think is going to happen here? Well, I think it's the same discussion, like you said, we've had about well, Barcelona. There are some financial rules that need to be followed. It's quite interesting in the last days that Bayern Munich, we, we can say, is one of the best-run club in the top of European football. Uh, and they couldn't afford David Alaba. So who took him? Well, Real Madrid took him, of course. They can afford anyone. And now they're waiting for... Mbappé, uh, and it's going to be interesting what is going to happen now because you can't see PSG with Kalefi and they're all their their financial muscles that they would just let him on a free next summer. And this is the same problem with Real Madrid. If we're going through their ranks, well, I'm talking about a player I know very well, Jovic, who came from, from Frankfurt. That was the next big thing, young player like, like Dembele when I took him from, from the Bundesliga. And it, he's not getting, uh, getting games. And sometimes you feel well that, that Real Madrid is a place for young talent to go and die. Uh, but still, they have still some young talents there. And I think that it's... It's the same for Real Madrid and Barcelona. If you're going to sell someone to get the big money, like for Barcelona, we didn't even talk about Pedri, who is like, a, there is certain someone who will get him. Uh, although I think Rob made a very good point. It's not the best time if you're desperate to sell players now in the pandemic where a lot of clubs uh, try to offload players and offload uh, costs. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.